WA has a climate and lifestyle that encourages so much activity in and on the water. Teaching children water safety and personal survival skills is the most important investment the community can make to prevent drowning. This year, Royal Life Saving is aiming to educate over 200,000 kids throughout Western Australia to swim and survive. Sadly, a recent review of drowning revealed that 18 children aged 5 to 14 years drowned between 2003 and 2013 in WA, which was the lowest rate of any age group. However, over the same time, there was a 30% increase in non-fatal drowning, with 85 children hospitalised after a non-fatal drowning. Children were five times more likely to drown in regional and remote areas of WA than in the metro area. Most drowning incidents involving children happened at inland waterways such as lakes, rivers, creeks and streams. But it's not just these bodies of water that we need to be aware of. One third of drownings happened around the home, so education and skill development needs to focus on the child's ability to be safe in a range of areas where there is water. The report also revealed that Aboriginal children and children from culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds were at a much higher risk of drowning. Many of these children miss out on traditional swimming and water safety programs. Royal Life Saving is working with a number of community groups to ensure there is increased access to culturally appropriate swimming and water safety programs for these groups. The Royal Life Saving Society is concerned that many children will leave primary school with poor or non-existent swimming and water safety skills. Kids must avoid dropping out too early and should be striving to gain their bronze medallion. This covers a broad range of swimming, survival and life-saving skills and will form a sound basis for safe enjoyment and participation, no matter what the activity or location. Royal Life Saving wants to eliminate all drownings, but that can't be done without everyone's involvement. We need parents to supervise young children around water, restrict access to water, learn CPR, first aid and life-saving skills, and enrol their children in a Swim and Survive program.